Hey, what's up guys? So we just got our hands on the new trailer, which is the opening cinematic for Halo 5 Guardians. I'm gonna let you watch it first and then we're gonna come back and break it down so you don't miss a thing. Fireteam Osiris, over the last 72 hours, five colonies have experienced identical events. Massive destruction, forerunner in origin. And Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey has managed to contact us. She claims to have information on these attacks. Halsey is currently in Covenant custody on the surface of Kamchata. Your mission is to insert behind enemy lines, retrieve Halsey, and bring her back to Infinity. Be advised, Dr. Halsey is accompanied by Covenant Supreme Leader Jewel Mdama. If you have the opportunity... Understood, Commander. Good luck, Spartan Lock. Infinity out. Tracking gear online. Affirmative. Say, before we make this jump, anybody want to say a few words? I figure if God can hear how scared I am, so can everyone else. Lock, you buying for us a drink when we're done? You ask, you buy. <laughs> Fire Team Osiris, the light is green. The trailer opens on Spartan Locke's helmet, who is one of the main characters in Halo 5 Guardians alongside the Master Chief. We then see Fireteam Osiris get their mission briefing from the back of a pelican from Captain Thomas J. Lasky, who is a human senior naval officer of the UNSC Navy. You may recognize Dr. Catherine Elizabeth Halsey from previous Halo games. Back in an episode of Spartan Ops from Halo 4, we see that she may be planning to help Jewel Dharma and his Covenant forces after a previous failed assassination attempt by UNSC, one which cost her an arm. As the mission now is for Osiris to rescue Halsey and eliminate Mdama, could this mission be a trap? We then see Sarah Palmer, who back in Halo 4 during the level Infinity, said to the Mars Chief, I thought you'd be taller, which is a little reference back to Halo Combat Evolved, as Marines would always say, he's taller than I imagined. We then hear a little bit from each member of Fireteam Osiris. Spartan Vale, who is their field anthropologist and Sangali cultural expert. Then Spartan Tanaka, who is the engineering and electronics expert. Then Spartan Buck, who is considerable combat experience but works as a joint force liaison and advisor. Then finally, you have Spartan Locke, who is the leader of Fireteam Osiris and one of the characters that you play within the game. Now, this is the first time we see the return of the Forerunners within the game, as we see some Forerunner weaponry shooting at the Covenant ships from the surface. 
We then see Tanaka crashing into and destroying a banshee as her shields begin to regen. Copy that, Tanaka. Now, this is one of my personal favorite parts of the trailer as Fireteam and Cyrus go weapons free and roll into the battlefield. Now, one thing that we see the use of quite a lot throughout the trailer is the Spartan Slam, which is one of the new in game mechanics of Halo 5 Guardians. We then see a lot of Covenant, including Elites, Grunts, and vehicles like the Race and the Phantom, which we see Spartan Veil board and absolutely destroy some Covenant Elites who are wielding energy swords. One thing that you have to take note of is throughout the trailer, the Covenant are clearly in combat with the Forerunners, which have been there through slight hints towards during the opening. But this is where we see our actual first Promethean, which we see Spartan Tanaka jump past. You then see a Phantom go crashing into a Forerunner Phaeton before you see Spartan Veil vale kill a Promethean with her assault rifle. And then it's time for the grand finale as a Covenant ship crashes in behind as Fireteam Osiris run away with a Forerunner Phaeton flying behind them as well as another Promethean is being killed by Spartan Buck. But there we have it guys, the Halo 5 Guardians opening cinematic, which I personally believe really sets the tone for the game. You see the fast paced action, you see new in-game mechanics like the Spartan Slam being used throughout, loads of different weaponries, loads of different vehicles. I'm just really excited to get my hands on it October 27th. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any exclusive Halo content right here on Xbox One. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to most and I'll see you guys next time.